over, but I don't wanna stop now You just struck a chord, spinning me around It's the energy, it's the chemistry, oh, oh Give me something that I never had Give me something that'll meet you halfway A little something that's gonna make it last One for you, one for me I, I, I need your love yeah, 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 give me something Oh, 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 all or nothing he, he, he. Good, Good morning, morning Mabel Shade! And welcome to Tuesday's edition of Wildcat News. Today is Tuesday, October 24th, and it is an A-Day. We've got all your announcements coming right up. But first, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Attention juniors and seniors, the military's ASVAB test will be given on Tuesday, November 7, 2017. The test is free and it can also be used by high school juniors and seniors to meet the state of New Jersey testing graduation requirement. Students must sign up in the guidance office. See your counselor if you have any questions. Also for juniors and seniors, the following colleges will be at our school. Tomorrow, Catholic University will be here third period and Cabrini College seventh period. And on Monday, Stockton College will be here second period. Please stop by the counseling office to fill out a college visit request form if you are interested in any of these schools. Fall Spirit Week is finally here. Congrats to the class of 2020 for becoming 2017 Powder Puff Champs on Sunday evening. Nice job, sophomores. Make sure you show your school spirit and dress up this week. Today is Concert T-Shirt Day, Wednesday is Tech Eight Day, Thursday is Sports Day, and wear your colors on Friday. And on Friday, there will be family feud during third period, and the pep rally will be during seventh and eighth period. Homecoming and the homecoming game will be on Saturday, October 28th. The homecoming king and queen will be announced at halftime. Also, if you need a homecoming dress, Shaders Plaza has dresses starting at $1. See Mrs. Leibowitz or Mrs. Deluzio for more info. Time now to find out what the cafeteria is cooking up today. Here's Steve with the details. All right, it's Taco Tuesday, my dudes. We have Taco Tuesday <laughs> shells and toppings. We've got buffalo chicken pizza, cheeseburger on a bun, and chicken tenders. Thanks, Devon. Now here are your club and activity announcements for next week. Interested in joining the chess club? The interest meeting will be today after school in C22. All level of players are welcome and beginners are encouraged. See Mr. Speeds if you have any questions. The Senior High Technology Club will meet Wednesday after school in room A13. The French Club will meet Thursday after school in room C23. Attention junior high students, the junior high Halloween dance tickets are on sale on all lunches this week. Tickets will be $10 and the dance will take place on November 3rd. And the Pin Your Parking Spot fundraiser has been rescheduled to Thursday, November 9th. And now let's go to Brandan, who has what's, the, what's happened in the latest in Wildcat Sports. First, congrats to the marching band for placing first in the competition. Today in Wildcat Sports, field hockey has a playoff game home against Paul. Paulsboro at 345. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> Attention all winter athletes. Winter sports registration opens on Monday and will close on November 1st. Please check the list outside the main office to see if you need a physical or the impact test. Anyone interested in wrestling this winter should attend the interest meeting on Wednesday, October 25th after school in C27. The meeting will not take long. If you have practice or a game, please see Mr. Berger so he can give you the information. DECA is sponsoring Pekka Pig to benefit the Bridges for Books Foundation. This is the last week you can donate your loose change and lunches into your favorite teacher's jar. The three teachers with the most money will be kissing a pig next Friday during Family Feud. It's Tuesday, and we've got another trivia question for you. We asked, what was the first horror movie filmed in color? Let's see if anyone knew the answer. Ready? Okay. Stefan, what was the first horror movie filmed in color? I don't know. Zombies are dead? No. I don't know. Hannah, what was the first horror movie filmed in color? Frankenstein? Yes. M, what was the first horror movie film in color? Uh, I don't know, Carrie? No, it's Frankenstein. Hi, I'm here with Angel. And Angel, what's the first horror movie film with color? Um, I don't know. It's Frankenstein. 
Cole, what was the first horror movie film ever filmed in color? Um, was it Frankenstein? Yes, it was. Was it Ravaz? No, it's Frankenstein. Lindsay Otter, what was the first horror movie filmed in color? Um, Friday the 13th? No, oh, but that was a good guess. And now we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Shane Kelly. Well, unfortunately, that brings us to the end of the show. From all of us in TV studio, thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching and have, have a tremendous Tuesday. Have a tremendous Tuesday. Bye.